Is there value in the Pick a Brick Cup? So guys, as you just saw, I am going to be doing a video about the pick a brick wall and the pick a brick cups themselves. Uh, so this video is going to mainly be focusing on not on techniques, but more on uh, the uh, productive side of things and on uh, how to give you tip. I'm going to be giving you tips on whether. Um, you should be buying a pick a brick cup depending on what part you're going to buy so there are a number of factors um for this video the first one are the two different sizes for the pick a brick cup as you can see the price and also the parts now those are the main variables uh, of uh, this subject in lego now lots of people uh, have said to me in my comments well not lots just a couple of people especially in the past have said you should buy off bricklink bricklink is the, or bricklink is where you should be getting all your parts or don't buy a pick a brick cup because there's no value in it lots of people have said this to me and i think that they're correct in some way but not in every single way so the main point of this video is to show you and give you an idea of why crate is not going as fast as well um, and so the main factor let's get straight into this is actually what piece you're buying that is the main uh, way to get value inside of the pick a brick cups now there are two sizes to the pick a brick cup there's the large size which i believe retails for 12 uk pounds and there is the and i think that is 16 dollars uh, if i am correct and uh the small pick brick cup which i believe is seven uk pounds uh i think that a uh, is equivalent to almost ten pounds. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, ten, sorry, ten dollars. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, you guys over in America probably uh, know uh, how much your pick a bricks are. So uh, the first thing that I can say is that you should definitely, if if you're say a big channel or you've got a source of income or something, then obviously buying pick a brick cups uh, every single time you go to the leg store is absolutely fine. If you don't, you can actually save quite a lot of money by bringing back your old pick a brick cups. And in the large one, you save 75 pence. And in the um, small one, you save 50 pence. Which is actually, if you go to the pick a brick a lot, that can actually add up to quite a lot of money. Especially if you're buying the large one. Uh, I find that, um, obviously, if you just buy two brick a brick cups, you are saving £1.50. So instead of spending, say what is it 24 pounds you are spending 22 pound 50 which is still a really good deal and obviously if you have a vip card like i do it's going to give you extra money as well onto that uh, which is really really good but obviously that does mean that then when you do get uh, your vip card out obviously same time to ip is going to bring you down to 11 pound 25 meaning that you only get 11 points um which is kind of sad because if you did pay it's kind of um I, I don't know how they do it, but I think it's that it's not rounded. It's just that the number that you're at uh, gets given you points. So if you spend £11.99 or £11.24, it doesn't matter. You'll still get 11 points. You won't get 12 points for more than uh, £11.50. So pretty much what I'm going to be telling you now, guys, is that I prefer to buy the large one. I think that it's better value for your money. If you can see here, it's just going to cost you 14 UK pounds to get two of the small ones. Now, you have seen me buy one small one before, and that was because I didn't have enough money to buy a second large one. But as you can see, um, what I've noticed is that the large one is better because it is a sort of, it's got quite a steep incline, as you can see on the inside. And I think there's more value in the large one because uh, there's not going to be as many, as you can see, let me show you at the bottom here. See at the bottom there, there's a little like dip, you can see it more here. Now you're going to have two of those dips in the smaller pick a brick cup. So you might have seen recently that I got a pick a brick cup which had loads of 1x2s in sand green, as you can see right here. Now this is the main factor. 
of is if there is value in your pick a brick uh um lego store pick a brick uh because if you're getting large parts like two by fours personally um you can buy them cheaper uh i've seen way cheaper on bricklink i there is no value at all if you're going to be buying large parts larger than probably one by fours it's not going to be worth it as much if you're buying especially if you're buying two buys two by fours it's definitely not worth it two by twos might be but i'm not exactly sure um but i tend to say if you can obviously i've bought two by fours and pick brick cups before but that's because uh, i could fit quite a lot in there and i wasn't just going to get those parts because if i literally just chuck loads of two by fours in here or just even stack them then it's still um it, it, if I filled the entire thing with 2x4s, it wouldn't be worth it for me. But I did actually stack a ton. I've got them here. A ton of these parts in here, which actually made up for the money. So if you sold them individual on Bricklink or took the average um, price for them on Bricklink, then you'd actually make your money back by them. So that's why um, I was buying 2x4s originally. But as uh, soon as they had them at my brick store, uh, as you saw recently, I bought a ton of these 2x2 two two white jumper plates um, and some of these sand green parts. Now, as you can see, right here, I if I took, took say, an average of this, say this is four, so I guess there's well over 100 pieces just there. So that's, uh, obviously, people can't sell parts on Bricklink for less than one pence. So if you're going to buy all of those, that would cost you approximately one pound. And that's only taking you to there. So you might, you, you'll get well over your money for this big rock top if you're getting one by ones, uh, tiles or plates. So if you are getting small parts, and there's definitely a ton of value, as you can see with me. Um, I actually managed to add up just these sanguine tiles and just these two by two white jumper plates. And that all uh, came over 34 UK pounds. And I only spent £11.34. I know I'm being very precise. But just to tell you that I only spent £11.24 uh, as uh, I got 75p off. So you do get a ton of money just like that's literally tripling my money if i were to sell them on obviously i'm not going to but it just shows that it is cheaper to buy off that now uh this is the reason why a uh, crate has not been going as fast because say if i found a ton of one by ones one by twos and two by two white tiles and my local pick a brick i would literally fill loads of bins full of them like i mean like three or four full of them and that would be crate literally finished um apart from the rock work obviously um but that is why crate has been slowing down because obviously i do not have those parts at my pick a brick and it's quite far from my other pick a bricks um so personally not unless i go away will i be able to get hold of them i'm hoping that my local store will get them but i might be asked them soon i might ask them if they either have them in their backlog if you want to call it their backlog uh or they are going to be importing them in hopefully they will import them in because uh, i think that being able to listen to people uh, is also a very good thing but obviously if they can't and then it's just random then that's absolutely fine which i believe it probably is random but guys that's going to have to wrap it up for today i hope you guys have really enjoyed this video if you are really enjoying the intros then please do smash that like button and make sure you comment down below your favorite lego part uh, it doesn't have to be in incredibly precise like the color just say I like, like, for example, I really like these 2 by 2s I know it's on this, but I really like these 2 by 2 tiles. I think they create a really nice effect on Star Wars mocks. So if you do like those parts, then please do comment that down in the comments section below. I probably will be bringing a, a sort of little shout-out thing uh, for the person who I think has the best idea for that. If you did really enjoy this video, please do smash that like button. If you are watching me for the first time, please do smash that subscribe and that notification bell icon to get notified whenever I upload. For now, guys, it's going to wrap it up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah.